Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, stringing method, the Sargetti stringing method. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so through the last two years, I've had questions, a lot of questions from you guys asking me about the Sargetti way of stringing. And if I've ever tried it, if I ever heard of it, have I ever tried it? I actually have never tried it. I've heard of it. I've known people who've tried it. Um, I didn't know what it was really all about. Um, Serge, who founded Sargetti, contacted me and said, would you be interested in trying out our stringing method? And I was like, sure, Serge, let me know how, how it's done and let me know what I need to do. Uh, so he actually emailed me a guide map, a guide map of how to string, what to do and how to do it. So I'm gonna show you basically what it looks like. There are no numbers on here because this is a blank page of zeros, but it's very, very sophisticated as to how this gets done. So what we started, Serge and I started by he asking me what kind of racket I use and what kind of string I use. So I told him this particular one was meant for Coach Chris because it says, a Pro Staff 97 and Selenko Torbite 16L. So this was catered towards him. And, but the numbers are zero because this is just an example of what you would get if you decided to try this way of stringing. Okay. Now it's super, super detailed. So this tells you about the flex of the racket, the square inches, obviously the stringing pattern. Um, this is Torbite 16 L. So here's the thing. The first main is strung at a certain tension, second at a different tension, third, fourth, and so on until you get into the center because it's a 16 by 19. So when you get back to the other side, you start from the one on the other side and you do the same. Okay. Now on the cross, it's one to 19. So it tells you the first cross at the top to the last cross on the bottom, how to string it, what tension to string it at. So I have Coach Goo's racket here. So basically what you're doing is you're starting with number one, number one's here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it goes from one to eight, one to eight, just like the guide map, one to 19. So every string is gonna be a little bit different in the tension. Now, why, why and how? How did Serge come up with this? And why did Serge come up with this? So the story is, um, one day he was stringing his racket and he thought to himself, there's gotta be a better way to do this, to get, especially to get the most out of my string job, to get the most out of my racket. What do I need to do and how do I do it? Well, it took him about 12 years of research and development a lot of tinkering to come up with this way of stringing. So, but what does it really do for your racket? Well, this is what the science says. This is what his science says. So it takes into account 50, 50 variables in stringing. I don't know what those 50 are. But I can note that there are 50 things that you can take into account that would make the racket play better. So Serge's research says that the way he's doing it 
enhances the sweet spot and makes it bigger. It increases the sweet spot 70% bigger. So by stringing the different tensions enhances the sweet spot, extends the sweet spot. A regular string job only gives you about 12% of what you need. So 12 compared to 70, wouldn't you take 70? So what it also is supposed to do is give you more power on off center shots. Because again, it takes into account the different lengths, right? Of the strings and how to tension them better to enhance the head to enhance and make the strings work, you know, to the most of its abilities because of the lengths here. You're taking into account the lengths here. Okay. It reduces the torsion, the torsion, the initial shock and the vibration. So we all know that shock is the impact of the ball. The vibration is when the strings are resonating and the racket is also trying to get back to center. So it's this motion. So can a string job actually do that? We'll have to see. So the guide map that he sent us, he sent us three. One for me on my clash, one for Coach Goo, and Coach Chris is on his way back from Mexico. So uh, he says he'll meet me here in a couple of minutes. So hopefully he makes it back. Um, and the other thing that it also promised me was um, tension maintenance. It's supposed to hold. All right, so let's get out on the court. Let me go look for Chris first because he's just a lost soul. And uh, we'll hopefully see him out there. Stay tuned. So on the court, Sargetti string method. All right. All right, guys, so we're just done with our three rackets. Um, Coach Chris actually told me that he actually uses a stringing method, which is, I believe, the Sargetti method already. He's done it in the past, and he actually tries to do it as much as possible. So I guess he would be the expert to talk about it first. Coach Chris. So I like the Sargetti method um, because I feel like that when I strike it in the sweet spot, the ball pockets really well and it adds a lot of a lot more power into it too as well um uh the tension is like right here in the middle so and the strings on the around it are looser so that adds the kind of like a trampoline effect to it um quite well and i feel like the tension lasts a little bit longer too um as i uh use this stringing method so um definitely recommend giving it a try for those who haven't really um know about it or um are looking for different ways to string their rackets so yeah 
So the main thing that you get, because Coach Chris has been doing this for a little while now, is that you get the ball pocketing more in the middle, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And then a bigger sweet spot. Plus it holds tension better. Yep. Okay. All right. Coach Coach Goo, what did you feel? Um, I'm a first user to this, as you might, might – well, I'm just a first user overall. So, I mean, something really new to me. I definitely feel the sweet spot being a lot bigger than usual, um, especially with the blade. It already has that nice feel. This just makes it even bigger with the string method. Um, definitely didn't feel a lot of vibration. I usually use a dampener, but now, as you can tell, I don't even use a dampener for this racket uh, because of the strings. It actually – Feels great. Um, there's some stuff I can get away with, especially if I'm like, probably should miss hit it a little bit, which I rarely do. But if I do miss hit it, it actually gives and delivers that extra pop that I need, which is really crazy to me because usually if you hit the frame, it's like, oh, it's sailing or it just doesn't feel right. But somehow I can get away with it for sure. But I mean, for people who haven't used it, I think you should try it out. It's actually pretty interesting and a pretty cool experiment to try out. All right, so first time user, the abuser over here. So Lord. my opinion is that it did definitely increase the sweet spot, made the string bed livelier, made the racket livelier. Mm -hmm. um, no matter where I hit on the, on the face, definitely sprung off easily, easily shaped, I easily shaped the bot very well. Um, it just kind of gave a kind of springy, lively feel to the whole thing. So for those of you who've never heard of it, never, you know, wanted to do much to your racket, well, this is your opportunity to keep your racket, keep your strings, and just kind of enhance what you already have. So the guys over at Sargetti, um, all they're going to do is print up that form or send you an email of the form, you just take it to your stringer and say, string it this way. And once they string it that way, then you can feel firsthand as to what my man Serge took 12 years to develop for you, okay? So we're, you know, we're believers in this. Um, it does take a little time for your stringer to actually do it. Because it a takes, lot of time. takes my <laughs> man Chris here about, um, what'd you say, about like two hours or something? Uh, one year. One year? But no, like what? Seriously? Like uh, maybe like... 30 minutes, maybe? Yeah, maybe a little bit 20. more. Yeah. First time around, probably 40 minutes. Yeah, 40 minutes. Because you have to keep adjusting for tension. That's, you know, that's just what the nature of the method is. All right. So, guys, give it a try. We, we all like the way our rackets felt with this method. All right. I want to thank my man, Coach Goo, here. Coach Goo, where can we find you? You can find me at agu.tennis. I'll see you posting content there as well. All right. Coach Chris, you awake? Where can we find you? You can find me at CV Chan Tennis. And that's it. That's it. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Hey, Tennis Spin fans. Want to support me? Well, check out my new t-shirts. I got my retro 90s rainbow connection on. Check out the Good Morning America, guys. All right, Good Morning Tennis Spin shirt over here. Got the traditional double liner just for you. Half tennis ball. And my own traditional tennis spin. From my beginning. All right, check out any of these on my site. TennisBinUSA.com. Buy them there. Thank you.